Okay, I'm here with Joan Fitch, and you, a fan on Facebook, asked about Omoplata Defense. Mm -hmm. If you get your know, coordinate, so you're gonna show it. I'm gonna show you three from the three stages. Okay. <clears throat> First is the most important, which is the best, which is preemption. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I stay out of trouble before I get in any serious trouble. Mm -hmm. First thing I have to recognize my opponent starting to isolate and attacking an arm. As I feel this Omoplata isolation coming. I need to step towards that trapped arm and I want to try to bring my knee towards her jawline while keeping my chest high. I need elevation for this. I don't even have to grab my pants or anything. I'm limp with this arm. But the elevation is going to keep me safe. My shin will keep her pin against the mat. And then I just limp arm out. If I'm MMA, I can hammer fist from here. Second stage is uh, she might have hit it in a position where I can't get to that uh, posture right away. So then it's a matter of beating her to the punch before she attacks my leg or hips and stepping over, taking arm out of danger, passing the guard. Right. And then the last one, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, she got his arm, gets it. Controlling my leg or hip so I cannot step over. Yeah. <laughs> I can't step over at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm, my my elevation is broken down. Unless I'm super powerful, I can't get back up. So now it's worst case scenario, and I have to roll, freeing my arm. I'm giving up top position, but again, giving up top position is better than getting submitted. It's a little gorilla jiu-jitsu for you. <laughs>